This is a Mega Neon Chocolate Chip Bat Dragon, and I'm going to be joining the richest Adopt Me trading servers. Let's start by trading a regular Chocolate Chip Bat Dragon, see what type of trade offers we get for the regular one, try and trade it, and then go and trade a Neon one, and then actually go and trade a Mega Neon one. And I won't stop this video until we get a successful trade for each of these pets, which means I actually have to trade it instead of just going and seeing what people offer. This person's offering me a Llama, a Rhino, a Platypus, and a polar bear. These are all really rare, valuable old pets that are also kind of preppy, which is nice. Also, we got a diamond unicorn, a lunar gold tiger with a ride potion, and an ancient dragon. So that's that's pretty decent, right? But then again, this is a 1,000 Robux pet. It's an amazing pet, and it's got cookies on it. So what is there not to love about this pet? Um, so I'm gonna say I'll think because I'm not sure if I want to do this one yet. I want to see what other types of trades that we might actually go and get for a regular one, since my goal is to try and trade all of them. What can we get in return? This person's simply offering me a unhatched Aussie egg. I know these are rare, but I definitely don't think it's 1,000 Robux worth. There's like no way that I think that is worth 1,000 Robux, unless I completely have no knowledge about values. That is uh, that is a no from me, because I, I've, I've got all of these pets, and I don't realistically needed, so let's see what other types of offers we go and get in this very crowded, very rich server. Okay, now this one looks decent. Wow, what? That is already an overpay, because a vampire dragon costs you a thousand robux, the werewolf costs you 600 robux, and then a gold horn is a really rare old valuable pet, so that's definitely a win if we go and follow through with this trade. That's kind of crazy if we're able to get an accept. I'm not sure they're probably going to think about it and hit decline. Oh, they hit accept. That's a win my end because I just got a werewolf. Now, a werewolf is a 600 Robux pet. It's a pretty cool looking pet that transforms in night and in daytime. So we have successfully gone and traded the regular chocolate chip bat dragon. Now what we need to go and do is trade our neon one. And I think we've got a profit out of that because we've got a vampire dragon which also cost a thousand robux. And the vampire dragon also has a ride potion on it. And the werewolf cost like 600 robux, pretty cool pet. We also got a bonus gold horn which is a rare valuable pet from the mythic egg. So let's now go and change and try. So let's now go and try and trade our neon version. What do players offer for a Neon Chocolate Chip Bat Dragon? The first offer is an Alpaca, a Neon Goldhorn, a Neon Ice Moth Dragon, a Neon Phoenix, and a Neon Fly Ride Owl, also a Neon Fly Ride Skelly Rex, and a Neon Ride Spinosaurus. Uh, they said hi YouTube, so that's actually an amazing offer, but this is a 4,000 Robux pet, that's how much it costs, because it's a thousand Robux each. It did just come out. Of course, all of these are amazing pets, um, so I'm gonna say I'll think and see what other offers we get, because honestly, I'm not too sure what a good deal is on this pet yet, so let's try and see what sort of other offers we might actually go and get for a Neon Chocolate Chip Bat Dragon, because this pet did just come out, so let's have a look at what some of the crazy offers might actually be. I am inside of a rich trading server, basically it means that all of the rich players try and join this server, and um, yeah, that's basically what a rich trading server is, you can deliberately go and join them, I'm just gonna say no thank you to this one, so um, we'll hit decline and see what other types of offers. We're looking for some type of mega neon, something cool that I don't have, would be a nice addition to my pets for videos or things to go and give away and give back to the community. So a Neon Fly Ride Katsune, a Neon Ride Snow Owl, this is why I like to see some cool, rare, outdated Neon pets that you can't go and get your hands on anymore, such as a Neon Fly Ride Drake. That's a pretty cool pet, um, I do have all of these other pets in Megas, so it's not really something that I'm interested in, as I could just try and go and trade this for something that I don't have, so they're nice pets. Um, no thank you, uh, good though. It is cool offer, uh, not really something I'm interested in though, because, uh, yeah, obviously this pet did just come out, the value is gonna be all over the place, this pet literally came out, like, an hour ago. Alright, this one's interesting, an evil unicorn, I know these things go for crazy value, and a pink cat, and a ride lion, okay, 
This is getting interesting. This is getting interesting, guys. Um, an evil uni. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's like, uh, that's an expensive pet, right? Are they adding still? Bro, are they rich? That's crazy. I mean, this did cost 4k Robux, right? They're still adding though. Oh, this is tempting. Do I accept that? Oh, I, I don't know. That's crazy. Like, look at all the reactions. Honestly, I don't know what the value of an evil unicorn is, but, um, that, that is, that is such a crazy offer to be fair. I mean, all of this, there's a, there's a bunch of interesting things in here, such as the platypus or the lion. The lion on its own is really rare, and so is a pink cat, one of the first pets to ever be added into Adopt Me. And a lamb, that's a Robux pet, the chow chow, and also a, a ride potion. So, um, that, that is a crazy offer. Honestly, I'll probably regret not accepting this, um, because an evil unicorn, I'm not sure anyone, is, um, going to top that off, to be fair, because that's such an expensive pet to try and get your hands on. I'm definitely gonna regret not accepting that, because we're probably just about to get offered a bunch of, um, things that I don't really need. Um, so I'm just gonna say no thank you. I'm not trying to offer for other people's pets. I'm trying to see what will people offer for my pet. Uh, so let's say can they offer for a normal one. Actually, I don't have a normal one. I don't. All I've got is the neon. And they're offering a mega- Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, this is interesting. A mega scarecrow crow. Okay. A neon capybara. Okay, okay. A mega scarecrow crow. Do I have that? What do I have? Okay, so I've, I've got a neon one. Oh boy, that's- that's tempting. I mean, this is a free pet, right? So, would someone trade a Neon for one? I mean, that's crazy, right? That's a crazy good deal. This costs 40, like $40 worth, right? And you could technically get the Scarecrow Crow for free. That's crazy offer. Um, I'll just say I'll think. Uh, great offer though. Because honestly, I don't know. I do like this pet. So let's see what types of other offers we'll get. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this like extent of good offers. I knew we were gonna get some offers, but I didn't think we would get like great offers because uh, the pet did just come out. So this person said they love my videos. Thank you so much. That is amazing. The Nutcracker Squirrel, the Neon Beluga. I got these. Ooh, the Mega the mega Pudding Cat. All right, that's cool. Very cool pet, um, but no thank you. I do have all of those. Um, and I also got those in Mega, so not really ones that I am interested in. We, we have kind of created a swarm, which may mean that players have no clue what's going on here. So I'm gonna stand over here, because I think most people can't click on me. Okay, is this the person from earlier? Because they're offering all of these cool Neon Legendaries again, which is nice. Ooh! Oh, okay. Um, is that full grown? Three full grown vampires? Sheesh, that's, um, that's good, right? That it, how about this? I mean, that is cool. Should I just accept this? Three full grown vampires? How many vampires do I have? I'm pretty sure I still have my, my vampire dragon. That's kind of cool. I accept that. Is that good? Honestly, I got no clue about values, but I know that the gold horn's good. Um, this is gonna be an older pet. I know it's not as hyped, but sure. Should we accept this? A successful trade? Am I gonna regret this? I know someone did offer me that. Oh, that's that's a tough one. That's a that's a tough trade because I did get offered an evil evil unicorn. But these are some cool legendaries that I don't have in neon. I don't think. Um, so let's search Phoenix. Bro, I can't spell. Okay, yeah, so I don't have a Neon Phoenix. And this is this is a nice collection of pets, to be fair. And yeah, the vampire is kind of worth more. But the, the chocolate chip one looks cool. It looks preppy. You know, that's what everyone loves these days. They love preppy pets. Uh, which, is, which is what people want. So do I accept this trade? I'm not sure. Um, they're chatting. Uh, how about... Cookie, can you offer an evil for this? My dream pet is an, an evil uni. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, so they weren't they weren't offering for that, um, which is which is interesting. So that's that's strange. Um, anyway, chocolate chip. Oh, what a mega ice golem! They gonna accept that? Wait a second, an ice golem costs like one k robux. Is that a bad trade? I know no one likes it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, a mega neon. 
of something that costs a thousand Robux each? Did I just did I just take an L? I know it. I know that pet doesn't have much value. For all of you who are gonna tell me, oh, it's it's got no value. Yeah, I am aware. I'm aware that not many people want that pet. A mega ice golem. It's a cool pet. No one really talks about this pet. It's a thousand Robux. It's a cool looking pet, and I think it's undervalued right? It's, these things cost a thousand Robux each. This is from 2021. It's definitely a pet that's going to increase in value. So, um, let me know if you think that's a win for our loss. I know it's not preppy. It's not going to be preppy. Um, but yeah, I'd say that's a win. I mean, we did just get that pet. It is the second this released. So the strawberry shortcake, uh, um, the chocolate chip badger I can will definitely decrease in value. But a Mega Neon Ice Golem is a cool pet. I've been wanting one for a while. So I'm going to say that's a win in my books. Um, it, it might, it's probably a win as well in terms of value. Honestly, I don't know. So let me know in the comments. Uh, was that a good trade or not? Honestly, I have no idea, guys. I got no clue. I, I'm happy to get rid of it because I'm going to have a few more. And yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I'd say that was successful. First offer is just for some regular chocolate dragons. Now that is definitely an upgrade, considering you need 16 of these to make a Mega. So realistically, what I'm looking for is some other type of rare Megas, since this costs you 16,000 Robux. A Fly Ride Draft. Okay, that's actually a really cool pet. But remember, this costs 16,000 Robux, which is $160. I mean, a Giraffe is actually a great pet, but considering this is a Robux pet, I'm not sure it's worth it. Trying to find someone who wants this pet is actually really difficult. Obviously, everybody wants it, but finding a trade that is fair is definitely hard. A Neon Fly Ride Frost Fury. This is a cool pet. It did originally cost you 1,000 Robux each. And then they're also going and adding four Neon Fly Ride Dragons. So, so far we got a nice little mixture of some nice Neon Fly Ride Legendaries. But unfortunately, I do already have a Mega Frost and I do have a Mega Neon Dragon. And also a Metal Ox and a Minion Chick are some of the most hated pets to ever exist inside of Adopt Me, statistically. So although this might seem decent, I definitely don't think it's 18,000 Robux worth. I know there's a bunch of pets in here, but I don't think it's a good trade. This person's offering me a Neon Fly Ride Kangaroo, a pretty valuable pet. And also a Neon Fly Ride Dodo, pretty cool. And then a bunch of Gorillas, what a random add to add into the trade. Although I'm in a rich trading server, a lot of these players just simply ask for pets, which unfortunately I can't give away a free pet to everyone, because then I'd have absolutely no pets left. But the good news is, I am actually giving away a free Mega Neon Chocolate Chip Bat Dragon. That's right, you genuinely heard that correctly. You see, the reason why is because I actually have four of them. I have four Mega Neon Chocolate Chip Bat Dragons. As you can see, they're my favorites right here. One's got a ride potion on for videos. And I'm going to be giving away one of these in an upcoming video. And trust me, you guys are not going to want to miss that. So make sure you're subscribed with notifications. If you want to see the video where I go and give away a Mega Neon Chocolate Chip Bat Dragon, which will be coming out soon. Okay, this player is offering me a bunch of turtles. Turtles are really cool. They got a bunch of value, but I'm pretty sure I have every single turtle possible and I don't realistically need any more. I mean, it's a cool pet, but I really don't need them. If somebody was to offer me a Mega Fly Ride Vampire Dragon, I'd probably accept that. They said that they'd trade all of this for a Neon one, which would probably be pretty decent, but I did already trade my Neon one for that Mega Ice Golem, which I think was a pretty good trade. Honestly, I have no idea about the pet values. I just base it off of what pets I don't have and if it's cool or not. So as long as the pet's cool and is a pet that I'm after, then I'd most likely accept the trade. This person's offering me one parrot for a mega chocolate chip bat dragon. Honestly, I don't think parrots have that much of a value. I know it's a really cool looking pet, but I definitely don't think that it's worth a chocolate chip bat dragon. I might be wrong. I might have my values completely incorrect. But considering this is so expensive and is a mega neon with no potions, I'm not sure it's really worth this. A neon fly ride crow. Now that's an interesting one. This is a very rare, valuable pet and it's neon. That's definitely an interesting trade. Probably one of the most valuable trades that we have seen so far. I do like the neon crow. 
that might actually be a decent trade. Honestly, I'm not too sure the values of the crow, but it's Neon and Fly Ride for a Mega Chocolate Chip. They've also added in a Neon Golden Unicorn and a Golden Albatross. This is definitely an interesting trade because this is a really rare old pet for a Mega Neon. I mean, look at all of the reactions. All of the people are going crazy over this. That is a nice pet though, to be fair, but I simply do not know enough about pet values. If I knew a little bit more about what this was worth, then I might have accepted it, as I feel like this could probably be a massive win my end, but honestly, I don't know. Okay, so that's actually a really good trade, but we're gonna hit decline for now and find out what other type of offers we might get, since I simply might go and get an offer which is better than that. I mean, it's probably very unlikely that someone's gonna have something better than a Neon Crow in this server. A Fly Ride Evil Unicorn. Evil Unicorns are very hyped up pets, and they're pretty cool looking to be fair. And I did once trade one for a regular unicorn, which honestly, I have no idea about the pet values, obviously, if I traded an evil for a regular. But this person's offering a bunch of pretty cool looking pets, such as a neon ghost, a neon wulpa, um, a lima, which is fun. And yeah, none of these really have like a crazy value. I mean, an emu is kind of rare. The evil unicorn is obviously what's trying to sell the trade and the rest is just a bunch of random ads. I guess maybe they're trying to like clear their inventory or something. I mean, they've all got like potions on them, which is nice, nice little bonus, but I definitely don't think it's worth a mega one. I mean, it, yeah, I don't know. I, honestly, I don't know what the, the evil unicorn is worth. So I, uh, I'm not too sure about this trade. I'm gonna say no, thank you. Um, I'm not really after all those like bunch of random ads. I'm mainly looking for like a high tier legendary pet that I don't have. I mean, maybe I should have accepted, oh, maybe I should have accepted the Neon Fly Ride Crow. Oh, do I do it? Oh my word. Do I accept this trade, guys? Honestly, I am completely stuck if I should accept this. This is the Mega Neon Cookie Dragon, but we are getting a Neon Fly Ride Crow. And honestly, I do love the crow. It's an old pet. It looks cool. It's definitely very valuable. It's a very valuable old pet. There's lots of reactions going on. A Santa hat. Do like a Santa hat. They've also added in a, a newborn version, which is a nice little, nice little bonus. I get a little Cookie Bad Dragon in return for my mega cookie bat dragon. They said this maybe. Oh, that's so tough. That's such a hard trade to decide on. I told them that I don't know values and they said neither do I, I just use happy values. They said they just do trades that they think are nice. They said that they don't know if they're over or not, but they don't mind. Okay, so there's still a few pets that I don't own to try and complete my pet journal. So if they could add any of these, then I would probably accept the trade. I just submitted the screenshot and a bunch of players are telling me different things. Some people think that this is a fair, some people think this is a lose, some people think that it's going to be a win in the future since the crow is obviously not obtainable for a longer time, and they're adding a bunch of random ads such as a ride pony, a gingerbread reindeer, and what are, what are these? What are these pets? Oh, Luna Gold Tigers. I like these. I like these. Okay, do I accept this? They've added a bunch of stuff now. They have added the crazy stuff. And I do have four of these. So for the sake of this video, where we have to trade one of every single type of chocolate chip bat dragon, I'm gonna hit accept. I don't know if this is a good trade, but we're gonna go through with it. A Neon Fly Ride Crow. This is a Mega No Potion Chocolate Chip Bat Dragon. Now, I might have been able to get a better trade for this. Honestly, I have no clue since this pet literally just came out. But we're gonna hit accept. I've always wanted a Neon Crow since that pet came out. So I think, personally, that's a decent trade. Honestly, I have absolutely no idea about the values, but I do like the Neon Fly Ride Crow, and we got a bunch of random ads as well. 
hopefully they're happy with the trade honestly i don't fully know what the value of that pet was but for the video we were able to go and trade every single type of cookie bad dragon let me know in the comments if you want a free chocolate chip bad dragon as i'm gonna go and give some away and in an upcoming video i'm giving away a mega so make sure that you're subscribed with notifications to see that video soon Go follow me on Instagram and click this video here to see me expose fake Roblox Adopt Me hackers. I think you'll like this video next, click here to watch.